Okay, so I'm at uh, Luke Hatter in there, Chris Austin and uh, People Alliance. There's somebody I want to talk to, which I interviewed before. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good, Charles. How are you? Good. And what's your name? I'm Lynn King, and I'm your People's Alliance candidate for Fracton North. When did we have that little uh, chat, me and you? How long ago? I think it's been about three weeks, four. I think it's more than that because... It's been over a month. Yeah, oh yes, long time. Yeah, so, it has been. So, I'm curious, uh, you've been going door to door? Yes. Yes? Yes, I have been. And uh, what have you been hearing? I've been hearing a lot of people's ready for change and they're not happy with the current situation that our government's in, the deficits. Uh, you mean a normal person, you knock at the door, knows about that? The deficit? Well, they understand that our province is in trouble because we don't have all the services that we need. Uh, family doctors, that's a huge thing. Really? Did they talk about Steve Horseman? Uh, they, they have a couple times. I've had a few people bring him up and that he's door knocked there too. Um, yes. And do they talk about uh, the Green Party or what's the main the, thing? You know, they, they talk about uh, Jill Green, they talk about Stephen Horseman and and the thing is, when you talk to people, that they're, they're going to be nice and straightforward to you anyways, yeah, right? Yeah. Because we're all people. And they'll, they'll say, you know, that they might not be fond of the Liberal Party, or they might not be fond of going PC again. And, and they are looking at People's Alliance as a very viable third option. Uh, we've been putting a lot of work into this. We've been working very hard. I've been working really hard. I know other candidates have been working just as hard or so. But uh, the people, they, they notice, and they're really liking the approach our party's taking on hearing everybody out, and we listen to their problems, and we analyze the issues that occur, and we get back to you. You got 22 days left, or 21 days. Yeah. What, what have you learned? This is the first time you ever ran, right? Yeah, this what is... What have you learned? I've learned a lot about people. Like what? You get a lot of people of a lot of different personality types out there and a lot of people have a lot of different things that they're focused on that's an issue for them that hits close to home and they want to be heard and sometimes it's not something that is in media. It's not something that we all hear about. Sometimes it's little things. Sometimes it's about like in be autism like that's not something that gets the front page of a paper but you know did you know that people come from all across Canada and internationally to New Brunswick because we have a great early autism development because of the UMB cell and we have the Stan Cassidy Center and that's fantastic because you know that that's something we can grow because people are traveling here for it to support their children and to help them learn. Have you learned that you as a candidate, not a po politician yet, have you learned that you're like a psychologist? You listen to everybody's problems? I was just saying that to a couple that I was talking to. They're quizzing me and stuff. And I said, you know, anyone that's a, su a successful politician, they should get a degree in psychology. I honestly, I did say that because you, you hear so many people with so many problems and issues that have occurred and you try to rectify and you try to come to a, like a logical explanation and you try to help them with this and you try to, it's so much problem solving. And I told it, you that, oh. not, I told you that when the yeah. last interview, I think I said yeah, that, yeah. you know, so was I right? Yes. That's why, yeah. I'll ne that's why I'll never be a politician because I like to talk too much. You gotta listen yes. and listen and listen. So. And it's, it's, uh, what's, have you already, uh, uh, after visiting one household, uh, left in tears? No. Never? You're Scottish? And you got no tears? Uh, no, no, <laughs> but I mean, there's so many sad stories out there. Oh, you know, I, I don't like crying. I'm not, yeah. I'm not a crying person. Yeah. Well, only at home alone. <laughs> oh, look, look, tears in my eyes now. But, uh, y you hear a lot of sad <laughs> stories. And it, it it hurts the heart because because sometimes with the way things are now, you want to help, and because of the hurdles, like someone that's I know someone that had a stroke, and for some reason they have to keep going to get reassessed by the doctor to prove their disability. But the thing is, they've been through so much, and they've got a pack of paper this thick they have to fill out and so it's like well is there an advocate for this someone that's a professional that knows how to do this and they said no and the fella that had the stroke he can't read or write 
<laughs> yeah, isn't that a kicker? And he has to have his wife fill it out, and she's working, and she's trying to support their family, and he has to keep going for these renewals, and she has to take time off. How come I get the feeling we uh, haven't here the end of you? I think uh, if you fail, and it's not, it wasn't be a failing experience because you learn a lot about people. Well, yeah, and there's a lot of people that need help. And you will be back out there. Well, I, I like helping people. Um, I've always liked to help and teach. I, I teach kids softball sometimes. And Did you learn I you can't stay in a house too long because you got to, you had to say, okay, listen, I gotta go to the next house. I've got a phone number, you know, and if it's a really good hot topic and we're having a really good conversation, it's getting carried away, you know, I'll be like, you know, we, I'm gonna have to stop because we have to, I do have to get going, but it's uh, hard I, to, I have that. never seen, I've never said that though. You know, if I end up talking to someone for 30 minutes, I talk to them for 30 minutes because, yeah. but you know, I, if it's something that they might have more questions, I always leave my phone number. I always give them my email because I'm, I'm kind of an open door. Like you can call me and I'll, I'll chat. What's your website? Uh, I have a Facebook site. What's your Facebook? It's uh, People's Alliance, spread up to North. You can find me on that. Your name, your full name? Uh, Lynn King and People's Alliance Park to North. Much better interview than, like, than the last time. You're doing very, very good. Congratulations. Hey, you helped me.